Please note that this video is for educational purposes only. I do not take any responsibility if you commit a crime or you get in trouble by the police. Right, so this video is absolutely going to be golden. <laughs> and you may ask, why is it going to be golden? Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you public cameras that are available to anybody on the internet, right? You can basically launch up your browser and you, look, you can spy on people and you can look what they're doing in their lives. <laughs> Now look, this is Brazil, Rio de Janeiro, right? So I don't need to go on a holiday anymore. I can just go on my launch my computer and say, Mom, look, I'm on a holiday. Now, one very important announcement that I want to make is if you want to basically do this yourself, if you want to find some information about your city or your cameras or devices within your city or your country, I will show you how to do this at the end. Just stick to the end and I'll show you some secrets that you're not supposed to access. And the drum roll, the first website I want to show you is cameras in India. Why? Because they're always fun to see and look. Right, so as you can see, we have cameras in India. And what we can do is go to the second page, because this page is boring. And as you can see, we have Mumbai. So as you can see, we have a camera, which is, I guess, this like some, some kind of check patrol or some border patrol. I don't know. I'm not from India. <laughs> This is not one of these cameras that you can rotate. Obviously, if you find one, you can play around with them. Hell no. Right now, the quality is not the best. Now, but definitely, this is nothing. Even now, I actually found a cool camera. Um, as you can see, this is basically a beach in Italy. Yeah? Italy. Imola Italia. Imola Italia. Right. So this is basically a camera of a beach, right? And then you can sort of see what people are doing. Um, and the thing is, there's thousands of these cameras, right? So you can find them all over the internet and especially on this website, which is called insecam.org. Right, so as you can see, we have another beach and it's the same, basically same place, Italy. Uh, obviously, it's some different beach, but... Right, so I found a very, very cool camera. It's basically London traffic. Right, so this is currently live. It's 9th of May and it's about 2, 2 o'clock. And, oh, I just switched randomly. Okay, right, so what we get is basically the camera, right? So basically what we can do... Oh, I think it switches. Oh, basically every 10 seconds it switches to another camera, right? So we can see the traffic flow. One of the airports I found is Dusseldorf Airport and it's a pretty cool, it's a pretty cool basically camera system. Right? What we can do is we can look through cameras of the whole airport. Now, as you can see, the quality isn't sort of, I think it's better than the camera before. But as we can see, we can see people doing stuff, right? So we have a gathering here. But one more thing we can do is we can look through the actual airport itself. So this plane, I just saw I had to re-record because... But look at this plane. It's massive. It's two-floored airplane, right? So it has basically one section of windows and the ups. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock! We can also see planes landing, right? So as you can see, there's some bird flying. And we, if we stick on the camera long enough, we might be able to see some planes landing, right? And there's one more thing, flight operations. However, it doesn't, I think that's the ATC, right? So the air traffic control. However, it doesn't allow me to look through this camera. Maybe there's some problem. So I guess this is where the planes wait to take off. I'm not sure really. Right, so I was just basically looking through the cameras and this is a barbershop in Taiwan and... The funny thing to me is that there's a moped sitting right in the middle of the like of the barber shop or a hairdresser store. I don't know what this is exactly, but you know, I just I just find it funny for some reason that you know there's just a moped in the middle of the of the of the store. <laughs> like what the hell? Right. So I just basically look and there's a tab called cities. So if you want to look for your own city or you want to maybe look your neighboring city or something like that, you can just go on this tab. And you'll definitely find some cameras and also tells you how many cameras there is. So, oh, so we have 60, right? So, okay, right, that's not a... Uh, this shouldn't be exposed, if I'm not wrong. CGI bin should never be exposed, but okay. Doesn't matter. Now, as promised, I'll show you how to basically look for cameras and find cameras within your cities or your country or overall how to find cameras just like me and just like I did, like I did in this video. Basically, what you need to do is just launch your browser. I do recommend google.com as is sort of the best search engine for this as it has certain functions and allow you to do look for stuff a bit easier than DuckDuckGo or Yahoo or Bing, whatever, right? Um, so we're gonna do, for example, let's say I live in Rio de Janeiro, right? So Rio, Rio de Janeiro cameras online, right? Now, either you can do it for basically normal search and what you're gonna get is basically, as you can see, we have one, two, three, or five, about five result stars, first thing 
that comes up are just live cameras, right? So let's just go on this website, earthcam.com. I was on this website as well. And as you can see, we have a camera that basically you can just look for, right? What's happening and stuff, right? Right, so basically the other method I want to show you apart from Google is Shodan.io and I'm going to talk about a bit about Shodan because Shodan is a powerful search engine, right? Now, if you want to learn ethical hacking the fastest way and if you want to learn with secrets, with secret techniques and basically from ground up, doesn't matter if you come from a baking industry, I will teach you the basics, I will teach you everything you need to know. Make sure you check out my hacking course which will be in the description below. Right, so I do recommend signing up or registering an account on Shodan. Shodan.io is a very, very powerful search engine, right? Once you basically sign up, you get additional permissions, additional sort of, you can say, like a VAP status, right? So as you can see, once you come to Shodan, what it does, it gives you basically filters, cheat sheet, right? And this is what it does, it gives you sort of permissions, as I said, like additional VAP permissions to look for certain stuff, right? For example, so let's, let's say we want to look for devices in San Diego, right? And then what we can do is look for devices in San Diego, right? And the thing, apart from cameras, we can look for anything. We can look for Samsung billboards, Samsung devices, Samsung TVs, smart fridges, right? I've seen smart fridge in Russia being connected to the internet, right? I'm pretty sure I can still find it right now, right? So if I do smart fridge Samsung, it'll be the one I think only one should be in. Yeah, as you can see, right? This is a smart fridge. Smart fridge, server, Microsoft, IIS 10, um, Russian Federation, right? So you can find any device. Now also Shodan could be used to look for vulnerabilities in your network, right? Maybe something's exposed that's not supposed to be exposed, right? Use Shodan as a sort of, as a resource, right? It is a very, very good source, um, search engine. Now make sure that you check out my other playlist, networking, high focal hacking, Linux, anything you want to learn, I do definitely have made a tutorial. If I haven't, make sure to drop a comment, I'll make a tutorial about it.